I love it when you do my job for me. So when Devil Gamer told me that Cool Pixel had been updated on the App Store, I thought, yeah, you know what? It is time to revisit the screen recorder that stays on the App Store no matter what to see if any improvements have been made. So yeah, let's start with the headline news. Cool Pixel, an iOS screen recorder, is available on the App Store, so download it as soon as possible. Even if it is rubbish, then at least you do have a screen recorder always on your iOS device, which you can download at any time, unlike Airshow and the other apps outside of the App Store, which often get revoked. But the other remarkable thing about Cool Pixel is that it's been on the App Store for a good two or three months now, I think since November, as far as I can remember. iOS screen recorders usually get revoked and kicked off the App Store within 48 hours of appearing. Okay, let's go check out the application and see what we have to play with. So right out of the gate, we have a rebrand, a new logo, and this fancy video effect in the background. The first thing you might want to note out in terms of functionality is that this doesn't work in landscape. It's only a portrait app, but it does record in landscape. Uh, so it's just a bit of an annoyance when you're using it on an iPad. Right, let's have a look at the settings. First of all, we have video resolution, which can record up to 1080p. And of course, I will put this all through a PC later on to check what the actual details are. Once we've finished the recording, video frame rate disappointingly goes as high as 30 frames a second, so no 60 frames a second option. Video bitrate you can change to presumably up the actual quality and uh, a sharper image. And we have record sound. I believe that this will be recording through the microphone, but of course we'll test that as well. And we'll leave it toggled on for now. So those are your settings. Let's now go through a screen recording. When I tap on screen recorder, it will give me orientation options. The buttons are a little squashed here, but if I tap the middle one, that should start a screen recording in landscape with the home button on the right hand side. So let's just adjust my uh, camera here. Now, although you didn't see this in the background, I turned off my Wi-Fi and put the device in flight mode. So good news here is that CoolPixel will do a screen recording in flight mode or with no internet connection. And I know a lot of you keep asking about screen recorders that have that capacity. So let's quickly go to my Clash of Clans village just to get some coverage of something with a little bit of sound so we can hear that the speakers are kicking out audio. Hopefully it's recording that presumably through the microphone. Oh look, there's my village, it's rubbish. Let's now go back to Cool Pixel, which we'll have to go back into portrait mode on. And with any luck, when I press the stop recording option, that should automatically save the video within the Cool Pixel application. Once the video is saved, you have to go to the video editor within Cool Pixel in order to export it. So we'll quickly look at some of the options here. That's my recording there on the left hand side. And if I tap the play button, uh, here is the video. I'm going to tap play and we should be able to hear the audio and some visuals. So that does confirm that it is recording audio through the microphone and if I do a quick track you can see that there's no real problems with it tracking the video on the timeline so it doesn't look as if it's a glitchy video that's going to need re-encoding which is good news. Okay, in order to get this video outside of Google Pixel you have the share button in the top right hand corner here and that's going to export the video. Once that video has exported successfully, you don't need to tap on the option down here to save video because it just duplicates the video. I don't know why some screen recorders do that, but anyway. Now let's take a look at the final exported video in the photo gallery, which is right here, 54 seconds. And if I press play, it seems to run fine, which is good news. Also, if I track the video along the bottom, we can see thumbnails and good tracking here. So again, no glitch, glitchy video. However, can you see what we have here in the top left hand corner? The first real negative of Cool Pixel is we have a watermark. So on the free version of Cool Pixel, and we'll get onto that in a, 
more detail later on. The free version does have a watermark. Now you can always find out a lot about a screen recording by running it through a computer and getting the file details and I'm afraid the news isn't good for Coolpixel. Basically it's lying. Yes it does record at 1080p which is a plus point but it didn't record at the 5000 kilobytes per second I set it at and look at the frame rate 17 frames a second. That is atrocious and that really does reflect in the actual screen recording that you're seeing on screen now. Worse still is the audio which is about half a second in front of a video and Coolpixel has had this problem for a while now as I showed in a performance test I did a couple of months ago. The only way to fix this is to take the recording into a video editor, detach the audio from the video and then resync it so everything matches up and that is just a pain in the ass to do after you've done a screen recording. So let's revisit the topic of a free screen recorder in the App Store. It's not as free as what you might think. You get two minutes of recording and two minutes export only in the free version of Coolpixel. Basically, if you're doing a two minute recording, it will simply stop at that point and you have a recording to play with and that's all you can do. With the pro version, no watermark, unlimited recording and here are your price points, $3 for three months, $5 for a year or $15 for lifetime. I presume that's in US dollars, but you can pay with Apple Pay and PayPal. So there you have it folks, Coolpixel has improved, but it's still lagging behind, I would say, Visorec, which is a free screen recorder, but has that annoying adverts issue with it, and Airshow, which is completely free. The fact that the sound sync is a little out, and you only get 30 frames a second, although it's not really even that, is a, a bit of a tough ask for an application that costs money. So I would still recommend going for the free options, but we'll obviously keep an eye on Coolpixel to see how it improves. And there is that one added big bonus that it is currently being available in the App Store and has been for a very long time. If you have any thoughts or opinions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, subscribe to the Video Gadget channel for more cool stuff like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.